Larry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. I just wanna wish you all a happy, happy new year. Stay safe, stay sober, and I hope all your dreams come true in 2022. I didn't even like put that together before I did the video, but it's kind of like a little bit of poetry, isn't it? Isn't it? I just wanna let you know that I'll still be doing my channel in 2022, and come over once a, year, once a week and see my video, and tell me what you think about it, okay? Because being sober is a great life. Like I said in another video, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not an addiction counselor, I'm not a, none of those. I'm just an alcoholic, taking it one day at a time, that love making videos and love boosting aware, awareness of alcoholism and its destructive nature that it can do to people like you and people like me. It really can, it, it, it wrecked my life, it destroyed my life. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is about one of the craziest things I had to talk about in early recovery. And one of the biggest challenges was dealing with my feelings. Ugh, I used to always go like that when it came to my feelings. In early recovery, I didn't know my ass from a hole in the ground when it came to the way I felt. And if you're feeling like that, that's perfectly normal. When I was a young buck, was a young person, I was gonna say young buck, when I was a young person, you know, between, I don't know, one year old and 12 years old, 13 years old, no one ever taught me about feelings. No one ever taught me how to express my feelings or how to identify feelings or how to soothe myself, none of that kind of stuff. And when I found alcohol and drugs, I used alcohol and drugs to suppress everything down. And I never expressed myself in a, in a feeling vocabulary. I never expressed myself in any way, the way I felt, what I wanted, what my needs were, nothing. I just went around life kind of half in the bag all the time. You know, a little bit of booze, a little bit of drinky, a little bit of drugs. And when things got tough or things got emotional, I always had a drink, so I never dealt with anything. But when I sobered up, it was a whole different ball of wax. It was like the booze was holding like a dam of emotion back and I didn't really know how to deal with it. I really didn't. I had a lot of hurt, I had a lot of pain, I had a lot of anger, and I had a lot of happiness too. Like there were the three main feelings I went with when I sobered up was hunger, hunger, I was gonna say, was sadness, happiness, and anger. There were the three emotions I ran off in early sobriety, but we all know there's a big range of them, right? And I used to, people used to always talk to me in treatment centers, they used to tell me, you know, Terry, how's your, how are you feeling today? And things like that, and I'd be like, I'd really have to think about it when they asked me how I felt. I really have to give thought about it. And Knowing our feelings is knowing ourselves. And you might hear a catchy phrase nowadays that they always say, you know, you need to sit with your feelings. Sitting with your feelings doesn't necessarily mean sitting and wallowing in your feelings. Oh, I feel hurt, oh, I'm a victim, those bastards did all this shit to me. Yeah, it may be true those bastards did all that shit to you, but sitting with your feelings and wallowing in them, feeling like a victim is not the way to do it. It really isn't, it just perpetuates the, the problem and we never learn how to identify our feelings. What I do, and what I wanna suggest that you do, is when I feel something, I feel it strong, I just try not to react to it, and I sit with my feelings. I sit with my feelings, and I try to identify the feeling. And I don't sell myself out, and I think that's a big thing. Don't deny yourself the way you feel. There's no right or wrong way to feel. It's just a feeling. It's just, that's the way we feel. They're God-given, they're given to us at birth, they're indicators of to help us survive the world around us. That's what they are. They're, they're caution, you know, they're cautionary or fears can be a stopper, you know, not run out in the traffic. Anger can help us protect ourselves or anger is probably one of the best emotions around because it's the emotion of change. When, when somebody's angry or you're angry, it's tell, it tells me anyways that we need to change something. When I'm angry, it's an emotion of change and that's the way I look at it. But sitting with your feelings and understanding yourself is the best gift you can get in sobriety. Well, there's a lot of best, great gifts, but one of the greatest gifts of knowing yourselves. Because the feelings are a huge challenge to alcoholics, a huge, huge challenge. So sitting with them, understanding with them, let them process, but don't run from them. Don't go to the gym or get occupied, distract it, because that kind of stuff, you never deal with them. You never deal with your feelings. Just stay quiet. Do like I do, just stay quiet. If I feel sad, what I used to do in early recovery, if I felt sad and down and hurt, I wouldn't leave the house. I let my feelings run me. 
But now if I feel sad and down, I go to work still. I do that kind of stuff. I understand the way I feel. I understand I'm not, you know, in the best, I, the best situation in life right now, but I don't let them run my life. If I feel angry, I don't freak out on somebody. Or if I feel angry, I don't walk off my job like I used to do all the time. Get angry, get pissed off at somebody, let my anger control me, run out the door. Same with relationships. All my relationships that I had with, with women in the past were always like that. I'd get angry or feel hurt or feel like they're using me or feel jealous and give into it. Instead of expressing it and finding out what's going on, I just give up, ah, the hell with you. See you later, I'm out of here. I went through a lot of relationships like that. But expressing yourself respectively to, towards yourself and others, being assertive, relationships can blossom. Work relationships can blossom. You can find your way through the maze of life a lot easier if we understand the way we feel about ourselves and the world around us. Don't be afraid of your feelings. Don't give in to your feelings. Don't let your feelings control you, but don't sell yourself out when it comes to the way you feel. Don't sell yourself out. It takes practice, it takes time. For myself, I had to go see a therapist about dealing with some old hurts because I couldn't get around that, some old pains that were making me angry. Do that if you need to do that. But feelings is God-given, like I said, it's a gift that we get. It helps us survive the world around us. Alcohol took that away from us. Addiction took that away from us. If you lived in a crummy environment when you grew up, dysfunctional, a lot of trauma as a child, that took it away from you but you can learn that again. You can learn the way you feel and you become a loving and caring and responsible, great person. You really will. It's good to have good feelings and it's, don't be ashamed of, of it. Don't be ashamed of it. We all feel it's great. It's, it's human when we, when we uh, express our feelings, even when we feel uncomfortable about it, okay? So that's all I wanna talk about today, just a little bit. But I tell you, feelings, that whole, challenge dealing with that emotional sobriety was very very difficult man wow it was very very hard okay so that's the end of the video folks it's not very much today it's just a little thing i wanted to touch base with if you're having that problem don't worry about it you're not alone stay sober and move forward in that emotional sobriety that maturity will come over time it takes time man it didn't take us you know it might take it took me about 15 years to get into the woods of alcohol, it's not gonna, it's gonna take me, you know, a few years to get out of the woods sort of thing, right? I don't know if I said that right either, but you know what I'm talking about. It's gonna take time for us to feel better about ourselves in the world around us, okay? And who knows, maybe 22, 2022 will be your year, okay? Sure, it will be, it'll be your year definitely, okay? I'm gonna quit talking now, I'm just babbling on here. I just wanna wish you again, Happy New Year. God bless you to all your family and your friends and mainly yourself for watching my video. Stop by, watch my video on a weekly basis. I'll still be here. And I just wanna say, see you later. Stay safe, stay sober. This is an alcohol-free life channel. I am Terry G, over and out. Ciao for now.